What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a deck of cards in case you and some friends don't play cards but you don't have a deck so you can make a program so first off make sure it's .java which mine already is I like it, you don't have to at first but I like to and I also like to move my camera up, I right, hit file and just save as right now I'll just save it deck of cards dot java so I already have the name taken care of and all that right, so now first off you're going to want to create your class so public class deck of cards alright so now that you got that you want to put the like the pretty much the main part of the program Alright, so now once you have that and it looks the same as mine, you're going to want to add this line right here. You can name right this deck right here anything you want, but you're making a deck of cards, so you should name it deck. And then this number right here will be how many cards in your deck. And there is 52 decks, or 52 cards in a deck, so you're going to want that number to be 52. But if you want to make a custom deck, I guess custom size, you can put anything you want in there. So here we're going to want to put the suits, like you can name that anything you want, but to make it easier you want to put suits because that's what they're called. Alright, so now we're going to add them all in here. So there are spades, which I'm not much of a card player, so I don't really know all the card names, so I have them written down. There's hearts, I believe, and... Alright, so there's diamonds and clubs. Oops, I put a Z. Alright, so, uh, oops. Forgot how to type that. Now you're gonna want your ranks, so just name it ranks or anything you want. That would be like there's the ace. This is like the longest part right here. Is typing all this shit in. And you just want to do this one through nine, I believe. Yeah, then there no one through ten. Then there's jack, queen, and king. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so I'm getting there. And then there's the jack, the queen, and the king. Now you can name all the stuff anything you want, but if you want to play with a traditional deck of cards, you're going to want to put what they really are. Alright, so now you're going to want to add the random but it will pick when it will like how it will pick a random card and shit. Alright, so now once yours looks like that you can continue. Oh, I almost forgot part of it. Now, uh, this is equal to I, and it looks good to me. Alright, that will just like interlace the cards and stuff. But this code right here, what you're going to want to add next is what will sh actually shuffle the cards. Basically, you can just take. Actually, I'll show you guys what you can do right here is take this line right here and copy it and just paste it right here because it's the exact same line. 
except for the ending so you're gonna want to cut this ending off right here and it's gonna end right here you just add in a bracket going the other way alright that will shuffle the cards now you want to randomly generate the cards so this will is what actually randomizes the cards alright so this will randomize the cards and then this will well that that's just what it sets up but this will randomize the deck right here this whole entire stuff that I'm about to add now through all of this uh, capitalization spelling all that matters so you're gonna want to not have any typos uh, actually I added the wrong thing here it's like that no typos in this area because this area is what's going to be matching up with what you've typed up above so it will know what to randomize and what to choose from alright so I'll close that bracket and then this will display the cards so displaying is good so then the people can see like who got the better hand actually again uh, we can just copy what we did up here I don't know what I want this one it really doesn't matter but I like to spread it out a little bit so it's a lot easier f to read and for you guys to follow along. We're basically typing what we typed up there, but this will be what will randomize that part of it, like the uh, spades, the hearts, that type of stuff. Oh my god, that scared me. <laughs> so my uh, CD drive just opened because. I was burning a disc and I had it set to open when it's done and I forgot all about that and it opened made me jump a little bit alright so this is what it should look like now now you're gonna want to add what it it will print out text of what the card actually is going to um, look like or so the people can see what the card actually is so alright so now oops card number you want to space it out right here so it isn't all bunched together then you want to add what it will know what to show as the randomized number Uh, space it out there as well just so it's not all cluttered together alright so oops this will basically that's basically all you have to type in but now you're gonna want to add your well I guess your closing brackets Alright, three is what you need, and you save it if it's already that Java. So now you're gonna want to create a compiler, which you can do that in just in a regular text document, which will appear on the other side of my screen. All right, so you want to just do a plain old te uh, compiler at echo off Java C. And then type in deck of cards dot Java and pause. You don't have to pause it. I'd say this in almost all my videos on a compiler, but 
Oops. I'll just do that. Um, bad. Some typo, but I want it to be done faster. If you're wondering what this what the fuck is, it's a calculator my brother created. Uh, he just sent it to me, but I can't get it to fucking work. All I do is, oh, I guess it does work. I don't know. No, see, it just replaces with whatever. He swears it works, but. Now, compile. Oh, we have an error because I forgot to add in semicolon. Alright, uh, where was that right here? Hopefully that was my only error. I seem to like making errors while I make a video, but yep, we're good. So now your dot class is right here. And again, I'll compile real quick. If it says press any key to continue, it means it works. A lot of people don't know that, but for now I'm just going to edit my compiler and just take out this J dot java and then take out the C so I can make a quick run. On the run, you do need pause because it will not run if you don't. So, alright, so. The amount of cards I have selected is what well, I, I got a card for card number twelve or first one I got card number twelve, King of Spades. Well, I mean, wait, card number twelve. All right, never mind. Just don't pay attention to that. I got King of Spades. I got uh, eight of Spades, nine of Spades, two of Hearts, eight of Clubs, King of Diamonds, three of Hearts, three of Diamonds. Queen of Hearts, so yeah, that's basically how you make a um, deck of cards is using Java. Thanks for watching, guys. I will show you how to make more programs soon. I have a ton more uh, uh, programs coming, and also if you want to control how much it displays here, I will show you how to do that real quick. I'm going making this video a little longer than I wanted but anyway if you want to change that what you would have to go down to is right here to this is the display what it will display an amount of cards and I'm just gonna go and delete this and it will be I is greater than four or I mean uh, I is less than four so if you put four in there it will display only four cards so you're gonna have to compile that again. Dot Java. I guess I should have made my uh, different one to run it. Oh fuck! I forgot to put that in there. There we go. Now it will work. We run it. It's compiled. And delete the Java. Delete the C. Save. Oops. Now we run it, and it, there will be four. You can set that to any number, like if you guys want to play, if you guys are playing, like maybe, I don't really know what you could really play on a uh, PC, but let me find it. You can set it, this to any number, like if you want, just, if you're playing battle, I guess, you want, here, you could do this to save it. This would actually be a pretty good idea if you don't have a deck of cards and you had nothing else better really to do. Which I guess if you're on a computer, there's you could always find something to do. All right, so we compile it. All right, now let's run it. You could play battle with each other, like you are the top number and he's the bottom number. You don't have to pay attention to the of clubs, but if you're the top number and your friend's the bottom number, he won. It's he's got a three, you got a six, or you got a three, he's got a six. Now you would win, he would lose, but you just keep track of how many each time each person won, like who gets points and stuff. That'd be a pretty good idea. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more. I have tons of more uh, programs coming and stuff. I have a uh, probably more like game type programs, I guess, soon and stuff. Thanks for watching.